tonight is the reason why I got into comedy. I cannot stress how much I admire and respect this man. He's also the head writer of this show and wrote this introduction. <laughs> he wants me to do a cheap plug for his wildly successful podcast, the Junk Time AFL podcast, but I refuse. Why? Because I'm Tom Ballard, stupid poo-poo head I stink. <laughs> Please welcome my absolute hero, Michael Chamberlain. <laughs> oh, my God, Tom, such kind words. Such kind words. Sit down. <laughs> Uh, thank you. I'm going to uh, start with a bit of cliche. I'm going to say it's good to be here. Cliche, boring. Uh, just by the fact I, I'm happy to be around people, OK? Because I live alone. When you live alone, little by little, you do go mad. Day one, you can't believe you have an entire place to yourself. Day 1,000, you shouldn't be allowed to have an entire place to yourself. <laughs> Day one, you can't believe you can do whatever the hell you want. Day 1,000, you're sitting naked on your bedroom floor, finger painting a portrait of the Pope in goat's blood <laughs> because you can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> I say I live alone, I share it with my brain, which is the worst housemate you can possibly imagine. I love it when people complain about their housemate. Oh, my housemate never cleans up and they, they never pay their bills on time. You know, well, my housemate constantly reminds me of my deepest, darkest fears and whenever I get too near the balcony, it goes, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. What are you chicken fucking doing? <laughs> Good thing about living alone, you get a lot of time to think, right? I think about things. I set up a little thinking table in my thinking chair and I think about things in my thinking shoes. I, <laughs> I think about perception. I find that very interesting, the idea of perception, because I realise a little trick, right? You can take an object or an action, pop a nationality in front of that object or action, completely change your perception of that object or action. It's very simple. Do you want some chocolate? Yes, I do. Do you want some Swiss chocolate? Ooh, how decadent. <laughs> Same for Belgian chocolate, but they don't sell Afghan chocolate because Afghan chocolate sounds like a failed funk band from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Afghan chocolate made from a glass and a half of the tears of an orphan. They're not going to sell that. <laughs> not going to sell that. Do you want a beer? Yes, I do. Do you want a German beer? Can you afford it? <laughs> German's an interesting one. German beer sounds good. German car, even better. German porn. Nah, dude. <laughs> Drug deal, they're very simple. Helping people out. Pop the word Mexican in front of it, everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Pop the word Russian in front of anything, everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Check out my new shoes, who cares? So what? Check out my Italian shoes. Well, someone's doing well. <laughs> no one's ever said, Check out my new shoes. Oh, yeah, that's right, Algerian. <laughs> Oh, no, those English football hooligans are after us. Run away. Oh, no, those Canadian football hooligans are after us. And don't they look adorable? <laughs> massage, very simple. You're already ahead of me. Massage. Your male friend says, I got a massage. You can picture that. Pop the word tie in front of it. Now it implies at some stage your male friend got touched on the dick. <laughs> but it doesn't work for every country. I don't want to get a Saudi Arabian massage. That sounds like I'll be yelled at a lot. There'll be unprovoked beating at some stage. I don't want to get a North Korean Korean massage? That sounds like I'll never see my family again. They'll film it for propaganda purposes. <laughs> Perception of Australia, I find that very interesting. Perception of Australia. I don't mean that big Aussie bloke, Australia. The greatest country in the world. <laughs> greatest country in the world. Been to any other countries? Nah. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Bali. <laughs> But that's not really the name of the country. I'll fucking lie to you, to are you, mate? Own an atlas, do you, mate? Did you nine, did you, mate? I don't mean that guy. <laughs> I actually saw that guy in bumper sticker form. It was magical. It was like seeing a unicorn, right? So a big old dude with a big old motorbike on the back. Had three amazing bumper stickers. First one had a map of Australia. Said, fuck off, we're full. Gotta love the classics. <laughs> Second one had the Australian flag. It said, love it or leave it. Can't leave a flag. Why? Because it's cloth. <laughs> Third one was my favourite. Had a picture of a fish on a fishing rod and it said, ditch the bitch. Let's go fishing. <laughs> I thought, how many different ways do you want to show that you're an awful person? <laughs> and I could picture him too with his neck tats and his VB single and his PhD in court appearances. <laughs> I saw something which kind of summed up Australia, right? It's kind of angry and hateful and loving and caring at the same time. I was in a pub, I saw a guy and a girl that looked a bit rough and ready. He looked like he'd been in quite a few fights. She looked like she'd bashed the fuck out of him quite a few times. <laughs> he gave her a peck on the cheek, headed towards the door. As he was heading towards the door, she's called out loud enough for everyone to hear. She's called out, Have a shit one, you fuckhead. <laughs> he smiled, That's my girl, and walked out the door. Let's take a moment and break that down for a second, right? Have a shit one, 
comma, ya faker, exclamation point. But in a weird way to me, it kind of summed up Australia, right? I don't, I don't want to be a slogan for a tourism campaign anytime soon. I, I don't want to see a blonde in a bikini at the Barrier Reef. Come have a shit one, fuck it. I, I don't want to see indigenous kids waving. Come have a shit one, fuck it. I, I just mean, if you told that story to someone from overseas, with no context whatsoever, they'd probably be horrified. They'd go, oh my God, that sounds awful. You go, no, 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 no. What she meant to say was, I bid you farewell, my dear love. <laughs> I hope your afternoon is full of merriment, frivolity. <laughs> At dusk, our eyes shall meet, our bodies shall entwine, two hearts together beating as one. <laughs> our love eternal, you are my everything. <laughs> you fuckhead. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Have fun. Michael Taylor! Hey! Hey! Not a fan! Not a